Hey everybody, it's Razor Tim from Canada again. Uh, I just want to give you a demonstration of uh, <clears throat> what you can do with uh, the whammy bar. Sometimes you can uh, you can get notes that are lower than the lowest string on the guitar, the low E. You can get notes that are lower than that. You put them together with uh, other regular chords and stuff. Uh, you can get some songs. <laughs> One of those songs happens to be uh, Van Halen's Unchained. And uh, notice this is a normally tuned guitar. And uh, so what you do is, uh, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but uh, you know, each of your strings has different tension. So when you use the bar, uh, each of the strings goes out of tune a different amount. But you can use that to your advantage, you see, because, okay, if we go down to the uh, Unchained is in, uh, C sharp, and uh, so if you use the whammy bar, you can go like that, like that. You'd be using the whammy bar for the low note, so we'd be going like. Uh, During the verse, it's you know something like that. Um, see, the thing is, there. Uh, whenever that low note is required, whenever that low uh, C sharp, you have to you quickly depress the bar, right? You didn't see that there. Uh, yeah, but uh, there's something else too. Not only can you get that one single C sharp, but if you notice, depending on the gauge of string that you're using, uh, this is a 10 to uh, 10 to uh, 42 light gauge, I believe, and. Uh, <clears throat> What you find is that at some point, when you depress the bar, uh, certain combinations of the strings will make pleasing, pleasing harmony. They won't be so dissonant. Uh, so, in the case of the low E and the A string, if you depress the bar far enough, what do you get? You get this. You get like a perfect fifth, right? You have to be pressing the uh, B flat uh, on the A string there, but eventually the two will, you know, like Jimmy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it. Uh, it varies with the age of the strings and the gauge and, and all that stuff, but uh, if it works out, you can by palm muting it, and you know you can you can, you can mostly fool uh, fool people in, into believing it's it's a perfect fifth, even though a lot of times it may not be, especially because you have to remember how far you're pressing down and you have to actually remember tension, which is a strange thing. You have to remember the exact position of the tension to keep going back and forth, you know, like, uh, and so what do you, if you put that together, uh, you, uh, <clears throat> get out of view here, you, uh, using two of the strings, the, the low E and the A, uh, you can get like, uh, it'll go like, uh, at the end, but uh, usually it comes out better than that. Let's see if we... Uh... And uh, 
the verse part. <laughs> So it's obviously very tricky and uh, sort of experimental in a way. <laughs> it, it, it's difficult to rely on, especially in a live situation, especially when you're, you know, in unison with the bass or something like that. And you're you're virtually going to be out of tune slightly when you go to for those notes, you know. But if you practice at it, it <laughs> especially with the palm muting, people don't. Uh, you don't notice that it's slightly out of tune, you know? Uh, yeah, actually, as you can hear on, on this guitar at the moment, it's better at at C uh, than it is at C sharp. So this is kind of like... Yeah, you know, the age of the strings, the gauge, all that stuff, uh, you may have to experiment because uh, at the moment my C sharp it doesn't quite sound like a good fifth, you know. <laughs> I have to sort of go a little higher or lower to get it to be... And that's more like a C, right? But uh, you can find other uh, combinations that will... Uh, um, if I wanted to get that uh, C sharp, you can do something like this. Uh, so in that case, that's just, just a little a little bar thingy there on the bottom two strings, and eventually, if you go down far enough with the bar, they'll. That's another way to get it, uh, and, and usually when the other method is a little out of tune, the then that method uh, usually works a little better. It's just that you have to put a lot more tension on the bar to get down to that to that uh, note there. Um, you know, you do things like. Uh, um, let's see, I, I used to do a version of uh, <laughs> Doctor Who, uh, the, yes, that Doctor Who, and uh, it would be something like... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so use it to your uh, advantage there, uh, you know, especially the... And, and notice that uh, there's another thing too, uh, uh, certain combinations of the strings actually keep their uh, harmonic relationship as you press down on the bar or come up with the bar, it's, and you, you can use, use it to your advantage, you know, so you can like, uh, for example, the second and fourth strings uh very usually very good to stay in harmonic relationships so you can do things like uh you know g g5 there uh, uh or something like zeppelin you know uh Now you get that nice perfect fifth on the E there, you know. And uh, let's see, there's other combinations like uh, so. If you use that to your advantage, you can go, you know. Oops, sorry, wrong two. See, that keeps its relationship, you know, no matter what two notes you press. So you can get some really sick ones like. Uh, Just uh, you can take that one that you're playing and actually go down uh, a whole note and get the same effect. All right. All right. 
Sorry, that was that was uh, up a whole month. <laughs> down a whole note. <laughs> okay, it's pretty sick, but uh, um, you get it like a uh, the sound of a, uh, a police chase, you know, when you got something like that. Get the sound of a uh, uh, a jeep. Here's a here's an old army jeep. Okay. Uh, where are we here? All right. <laughs> Driving through the mud, you know. <laughs> all the whole, all the holes and stuff, you know, uh, non-paved paths in this way. Uh, yeah, so these are the kinds of things that uh, the right hand uh, technique allows you to do. And remember now, hey, any combination of strings you want. Nice harmonics, cleanly every time, and no worries, no trouble. <laughs> Thanks for watching.